Welcome back to the show. Here we are out in the countryside. Uh, yeah, just outside of uh, Gothenburg. Here's Sean. Yep, hello. Right, Sean, what are we do today, mate? Behind the, in this barn, this is what you call a real barn find. We have a little bit of an English sports car. All right. So, so follow. Get you so let's get in there and see what's going on. So, it's a bit nippy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice old, nice old barn, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit cold, isn't it? Yeah. All right. So, let's give this some daylight. Can you guess what it is yet? As Rolf Harris said. Uh, it's a bit hard. It looks like a sports car. Yep, it is a. Da 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 da. da. It's a Triumph Spitfire. Mark 4, 1973, I think. Um, can't really tell you what the condition is at the moment, as it's standing on wooden blocks, okay. or actually standing on logs. <laughs> uh, so we need to really get out. So we're, we're, get, we're gonna try and get this thing out of here. Yeah? Uh, so the idea is to get that car out of that, that door. And that door is about... Uh, yeah, it's a bit yeah, up in the air, isn't it? It's about half a metre <laughs> from the ground. All right. And then we've got to get that one out, then move that one, yeah. and see if we can get this to roll. It's right. going to be one of those days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get on with it. Right, you know? Yeah. <laughs> right, I'll be front of you, but I'll leave your brakes, please. 
Okay, Sean, we are back in the depot, mate. And uh, I tell you, it's better to be in here than out there. It's freezing cold. Freezing again, mate. The sun was out yesterday, got, today. I've got half the barns. I'm still wearing half the barn. <laughs> good, yeah. job, good job you're not allergic to dust. It's not a job for you. It's not a, jo <laughs> it's not a job for people who are allergic to dust or mice or rats. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Or any kind of vermin. Yeah. yeah. Right, so anyway, we're back at the depot. Here is the Spitfire. What did you say? It was a Mark IV or something like that? Mark IV, 72, uh, 1500 engine. Right. Uh, according to the guy that had it stored, uh, uh, he said it was driven two years ago. Right. But I can guarantee you, <laughs> on my life, this car hasn't been driven for like 10 years. Yeah. The clutch is, is frozen solid. Right. There's no brakes. Nothing at all. And the handbrake just about works. So when you saw me rolling it down to the uh, trailer, the trailer <coughs> I became very religious automatically. <laughs> but other than that, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the car isn't actually in a bad condition. These cars were renowned for rust yeah. back in the day. And this one is, I haven't gone through it in very big detail, but the main parts where you see at the front and stuff around the bonnet and stuff and around the front wings, yeah. Uh, the bulkhead, it looks good. Yeah. There's some surface rust on it, but I mean... Yeah, you've got to expect that. That's what you expect. But the main parts that you see that usually rust at the moment look good. Do we know how old this car is? 72. 72. So it's, uh, what, 50 years old? Yep. Right, so it's and these bad. are really easy, because, I mean, look, you've lifted, you know, the whole bonnet f tilts forward. Yeah. You've got everything you need to do working on it. Yeah. You know, the engine, I think, radiator, distributor, everything's there, so right. it's very easy to work on. Yeah. And I mean, condition-wise, roof's okay, in interior's okay when we get yeah. rid of the, the mice, the mice's when they've been living inside. <laughs> All right, um, no, it's, it's not too bad in there. Oh. It's nice, actually. And I think with a good clean and stuff, it look, yeah. you know, it look quite good. It's going to clean up really nicely. Uh, like, like you said, you can't see any, any holes or any big rust issues on this car at all. Not in the places where you should expect it to be. Yeah. So if they're not there, yeah. Then the small little bits of surface rust here and there, that's not structural or anything that's needed to be fixed directly. All right. So, so yeah. We'll have to give it a, we'll have to give it a good uh, start service. All right. Get rid of the petrol and check all the brakes and definitely fix the slave cylinder. All right, the, and that can sort the clutch, clutch then, yeah? Yeah. I mean, everything's so solid. Yeah. Can't even, even... But uh, okay. I guess so. next time we see this car, um, we'll get the chief mechanic down there to have a look at it. This is Captain Euron, Head of Engineering see. Technology. All right, he's captain now, is he? Yeah, he's been all upgraded. Right. He's, he's, move, he's moving up in the world. Yeah, well, you know, he likes all these, he like, <laughs> he likes all these titles. Better connection here. What is that, something to the alternator or? This is the starter engine. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. and it's... And the starter engine runs, but it doesn't uh, right. put in the cogs in the flywheel. Okay. And that, that usually could be problems with the, with the uh, electricity down here. All right. So I think I should tighten that one before yeah. I, I do anything else. But it's actually quite a long shot because could be many things, huh? Yeah, and we don't have any clutch and we don't have any brakes. Right. 
But he just want, and, but the engine turns, so that's no problem. Right. But he wanted me to start it and see if we can get it okay. running in some, some So way. what happened to the clutch and the brake cylinder? All those parts are stuck or... Uh, Aha, have you, have you taken them out or were they not in there from no, the start? Uh, one of them is, is missing from the beginning and the other one I have taken out because they are, they are uh, totally stuck. All right. So you, so you can't use them. Go ahead. Let's see if I can. But there's, there's still a chance of us getting the engine to, to run if we yeah. sort out the starter motor issue. Yeah, yeah. It should actually run, but, but we can't drive it. But we can start it up and right. make it go. Ah, man, I want it to make it up. I can't beat too much here, man. Can I go for four minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I go in a front room? So Jordan, what did you do now then? How do we get it started? I have these gloves. Magic gloves. <laughs> no, actually. I just was I was cleaning points. Yeah. Cleaning the uh, distributor cap. Yeah. And also the the, plug. the, the spark plugs. Right. And I shortened the, the spark wires. Okay. And, and uh, also shortened this one. So yeah. we have a very good connection all the way. Okay. And also the grind the, the breaking points a bit. Right. And you put a different battery in there as well, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, of course, yeah. Right. Doing, what are you doing with the cogs? I filled up with some uh, carburetor oil. Yeah. And that oil uh, is making the carburetor work very smooth. So, right. so, so when you angle up here, yeah. the, the vacuum makes some, some needles lift. Now yeah. it's barely any more fuel. Yeah. And, and uh, if you have an oil in, in this, there should be a very All close right. motion. Actually. Okay. So now that seems to be working okay, yeah? Yeah. Excellent. But, um, but like I said, uh, luckily though, the brakes didn't rust on, yeah? No, so it was rolling. But that's because when you see in the video, when we took the, the car out of the, the garage, it was standing on logs. Yeah. That was also a little bit hair raising. <laughs> today, <laughs> today's been one of those MacGyver days. It has a and the man bit. upstairs has been watching me, so uh, <laughs> thank you. But yeah, so there you have it then, a 1972 Spitfire Mark IV. Uh, we're going to get this one ready, and uh, where, where's, it, where's this one ending up, uh, Sean? It's going on the auction, but I don't know the status until we start working exactly when. It's going to be at least a couple of weeks, yeah. if not more. All right. But it could be, yeah, it could be something quite uh, interesting. I mean, these are fun to drive. I think, personally, I mean, I've had MGs and MG midgets and stuff, and yeah. this is a lot more cooler car than an MG. Yeah. Um, so for me, I would prefer to buy a Spitfire over an MGB. Right. But, yep. Each it's... to their own. Each to their own. Exactly, exactly. Anyway, British classic. It's going to be appearing uh, on the channel again. I think uh, we'll have a, a little revisit when we get things in order yeah and uh, this one's going up on the auction people all right so uh, look out for it sometime in april so i hope you really enjoyed the show don't forget to like and subscribe if you did and we'll see you all again next week for some more cars of sweden live <laughs>